Freud's pain point, in this video, we'll talk about binary division. For binary division, we follow the same process as we do for dividing decimal numbers. Let's say we want to divide 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 by 1, 1. The first thing we need to consider is our divisor. And our divisor has two digits, which is 1, 1. Then we need to check if the first two digits of the dividend, which is 1, 0, is greater than or equal to 1, 1. Is 1, 0 greater than or equal to 1, 1? The answer is no. So our answer here is 0. Then we get another digit, which is now 101, and we're going to compare if 101 is greater than or equal to 11. So, is 101 greater than or equal to 11? The answer is yes. So, our answer is 1. We don't need to think how many times 101 can be divided by 1, 1. Instead, we just put 1 here. If your dividend is greater than or equal to your divisor, then your answer is 1. If not, then your answer is 0. You only need to decide if it's going to be a 1 or 0. That's why binary division is much simpler than decimal division. Okay, back to our equation. So we have 1. So 1 multiplied by 1, 1 is equal to 1, 1. Then proceed to subtraction. 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. 0 minus 1. We can't do 0 minus 1. We need to borrow from here. So this becomes 0. And this becomes 2. And 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. Then just ignore the 0. We have now a remainder 1, 0. And bring down 0 here. And this becomes 1, 0, 0. Is 1, 0, 0 greater than or equal to 1, 1? Is 1, 0, 0 greater than or equal to 1, 1? The answer is yes. So we have 1 here. And 1 multiplied by 1, 1 is equal to 1, 1. Then proceed to subtraction. 0 minus 1. We can't do 0 minus 1. So we need to borrow from here. So this becomes 0. And this becomes 2. And we still need to borrow for this column. So we'll borrow a 1 from here. So this becomes 1. And this becomes 2. 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. And just ignore the 0. Next is to bring down this one. Bring down one here. So this becomes 0, 1, 1 or 1, 1. Is 1, 1 greater than or equal to 1, 1? The answer is yes. So this is 1 in 1 multiplied by 1, 1 is equal to 1, 1. Then proceed to subtraction. 1, 1 minus 1, 1 is equal to 0. So our answer is 0, 1, 1, 1 or 1, 1, 1. We can verify our answer by converting the given and the quotient into decimal. For our dividend, we have 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. And the bit of this position is 1. 2, 4, 8, and 16. 
Then add up numbers with 1. So we have 16 plus 4 plus 2, which is equal to 21. For our divisor 1, 1, we have 2 plus 1, which is equal to 3. And 21 divided by 3 is equal to 7. And our binary question, 1, 1, 1 is equal to 4 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 7. So we can say our answer is correct. For our second example, let's say we're going to divide 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1 by 1, 0, 1. The first thing we do is to consider our divisor. Our divisor has three digits, which is 1, 0, 1. Then we need to check if the first three digits of the dividend, which is 1, 1, 0, is greater than or equal to 1, 0, 1. Is 1, 1, 0 greater than or equal to 1, 0, 1? The answer is yes. So this is gonna be 1. In 1 multiplied by 1, 0, 1 is equal to 1, 0, 1. Then proceed to subtraction. 0 minus 1, we can't do 0 minus 1, so we need to borrow from here. So this becomes 0, and this becomes 2. And 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. 0 minus 0 is equal to 0. And 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. Bring down 1 here. So this becomes 1, 1. Is 1, 1 greater than or equal to 1, 0, 1? The answer is no. So this is gonna be 0. Then bring down another 1. And this becomes 1, 1, 1. Is 1, 1, 1 greater than or equal to 1, 0, 1? The answer is yes. So this is gonna be 1. In 1 multiplied by 1, 0, 1 is equal to 1, 0, 1. Then proceed to subtraction. 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. 1 minus 0 is equal to 1. And 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. Then again, bring this digit down. So this becomes 1, 0, 1. Is 1, 0, 1 greater than or equal to 1, 0, 1? The answer is yes. So this is 1. In 1 multiplied by 1, 0, 1 is equal to 1, 0, 1. 1, then proceed to subtraction. 1, 0, 1 minus 1, 0, 1, the answer is 0. Let's do a quick check in decimal. For our dividend, we have 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. And the bit of its position is 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32. Then add up numbers associated with 1. So we have 32 plus 16 is equal to 48. Plus 4 is equal to 52. Plus 2 is equal to 54. And plus 1 is equal to 55. So we have here 55. For our divisor 1, 0, 1, we have 4 plus 1, which is equal to 5. And 55 divided by 5 is equal to 11. In our binary quotient, 1, 0, 1, 1. 1, 0, 1, 1 is equal to 8 plus 2 plus 1 equal to 11. And we get the correct answer. And for our next example, let's say we're going to divide 1, 1, 0. 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, by 
1010. Again, the first thing we need to consider is our divisor. For our divisor, we have here four digits. We have 1010. And after that, we're going to check if the four digits of the dividend is going to be greater than or equal to 1010. So is 1101 greater than or equal to 1010? The answer is yes. So this is going to be 1. And 1 multiplied by 1010 is equal to 1010. Then proceed to subtraction. 1 minus 0 is equal to 1. 0 minus 1, we can't do 0 minus 1, so we need to borrow from here. So this one becomes 0, and this one becomes 2. 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. 0 minus 0 is equal to 0. And 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. Next is to bring this one down, so this becomes 1, 1, 1. Is 111 greater than or equal to 1010? The answer is no. So this is going to be 0. And 0 multiplied by 1010 is equal to 0. So we can leave it like that and proceed to this one. Bring down this 0 and this becomes 1110. Is 1110 greater than or equal to 1010? The answer is yes. So this is going to be 1. And 1 multiplied by 1010 is equal to 1010. Then proceed to subtraction. 0 minus 0 is equal to 0. 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. 1 minus 0 is equal to 1. And 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. Then bring down this one here, and this becomes 1001. Is 1001 greater than or equal to 1010? The answer is no, so this is going to be 0. Then bring down our last digit, which is 1. So this becomes 10011. Is 10011 greater than or equal to 1010? The answer is yes. So this is 1. In 1 multiplied by 1010 is equal to 1010. Then proceed to subtraction. 1 minus 0 is equal to 1. 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. 0 minus 0 is equal to 0. 0 minus 1, we can't do 0 minus 1, so we need to borrow from here. So this becomes 0, and this becomes 2. 2 minus 1 is equal to 1, and just ignore the 0. So our answer is 10101 with a remainder of 1001. So we have a remainder of 100. Then we're going to verify our answer. For our war dividend, we have 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. And for the bit of its position, we have 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 1, 28. Then add up numbers with 1. So we have 128 plus 64 plus 16 plus 8 plus 2 and plus 1, which is equal to 219. And for our divisor, we have 1010. 1010. Then add up numbers with 1. So we have 8 plus 2 is equal to... 10. And if we're going to divide 219 by 10, we have 219 divided by 10. 21 divided by 10 is equal to 2. 2 times 10 is equal to 20. 21 
minus 20 is equal to 1, bring down 9. 19 divided by 10 is equal to 1. 1 times 10 is equal to 10. 19 minus 10 is equal to 9. So we have 21 remainder 9. And we should get the same answer. So let's check our binary quotient and our binary remainder. For our binary quotient, we have 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So we have 16 plus 4 is equal to 20 plus 1 is equal to 21. So this is for our quotient. And for our binary remainder, we have 1, 0, 0, 1. 1, 0, 0, 1 is equal to 8 plus 1, which is 9. This is our remainder. Then we can say our answer is correct. So that's how you do binary division. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And click the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video.